In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get up and running with the new Gemini Pro models from Google. So the Gemini Pro models were just released today, and I'm gonna show you how you can get set up with a Google Cloud account if you don't already have one. I'll show you the Vertex AI platform, their model garden, as well as both the Gemini Pro and the Gemini Pro Vision model. So the first thing that you're gonna to have to do is if you don't have an account already, just go over to cloud.google.com, make an account. Now the nice thing with making an account is if you haven't made one already, you're likely gonna get a considerable amount of free credits right off the bat. So you will need a credit card to sign up, but don't worry about being billed. You won't be billed until you actually activate your account. So so long as you're below the threshold and within the days remaining, you will be able to use all these credits for whether it's AI services or whatever else is within Google Cloud. So once you're all authenticated and set up, you can go ahead and within the search bar, just search for Vertex AI. So if you come to this page for the first time, you'll likely see a button that says enable all recommended APIs. Just go ahead and click that because you'll need that in the subsequent steps here. So next, if we take a look at the model garden, so you'll see there's a ton of different models here. So there's all the tasks, there's all the modalities, and right at the top here, when you land on the page, there's gonna be their flagship model. So their Gemini Pro model, and then the Gemini Pro Vision model. So the Gemini Ultra models, those aren't coming until next year, but you'll be able to find them right in this spot for when they're available. So if we take a look at Gemini Pro just for a moment, if you go within the model, the first thing that you can do is if you wanna play around with it, you actually have a playground within the Google Cloud platform. So similar to something like OpenAI, where there's a playground where you can toggle around with all these different parameters right within a nice little GUI and actually query it to see what the responses you get back, you can do the same thing here. So if I just say, hello world, you'll see it just streams all the responses back here. So the one thing I noticed is the way that it streams back responses is it's not word by word or token by token. It seems like the blocks of text come in in much larger chunks than what I'm typically used to with working with something like say GPT 3.5 Turbo or GPT 4 and their API. So that's just to give you a general sense. Now the thing to note with this is there is the get code button here in the right hand side here. So in setting up this video, I have noticed that this actually has changed and is changing uh, actually in the time in the past hour or so. I've seen a couple different uh, deployments. So this is the day of release. So there's a lot of, uh, whether it's fixes or updates to their documentation that are being sort of pushed in real time. So. I sort of took a snapshot of an example that I got working. So if you go ahead and look at get code here and on my screen, if yours looks different than mine, I'll show you a working example at the end here to get you started. So the other thing that I just wanted to quickly point out with Gemini Pro Vision, and I'm likely going to do a video specifically on this where I focus on trying this out a little bit more in depth. The thing that I thought was very neat and I didn't realize was going to be the case with the initial release with the API is that this API actually supports video. So there are some limitations, but the fact that we have a multimodal model where you can, you can put in images or you can put in uh, uh, videos, it's pretty amazing. So if you play around with this, please put some comments in uh, below of the video here. Let everyone know like how much it costs, how well it worked, what were some of the drawbacks, or is it just uh, the bee's knees and the most amazing thing? Like good, bad, whatever the results that you have, uh, let us know if you play around with the video portion of this. I'd be really curious to hear. And similar thing, if you want to get the code here, there's the Python code, the Node.js code, Java, or the curl. You can just go ahead and select which one you'd like. So I'm going to be showing you the uh, Node.js implementation for a quick example here um, before I close out the video here, but you can just go ahead and play around with this and actually reach for it. Um, hopefully there's a stable version that everyone can, can reach to in this example here shortly. So I'm just going to show you a quick example with the Gemini Pro model. So I just have a very simple uh, structure here. Now, the one thing to note is for when you actually set this up, you will have to install this SDK, the Vertex AI 
uh, dependency here. So just go ahead and run that and then to actually authenticate it here. So in this example, you're, you don't actually need to use an API key or anything like that. You will need G cloud installed. So if you run this command here and you get an error, just look up how to install G cloud. Now, when you run this for the first time, you'll have the authentication window pop up in Chrome and it's going to pop up as if it's like a third party app. You'll just have to accept it and it's a very sort of natural authentication flow. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just going to import our dependencies like we had there. And then just within the example here, so you see your project ID. So there's different projects that you can set up within Google Cloud. So as you toggle around the different projects, these might look different. So within your example, these are going to be different. So here you can specify your model. Then this is just going to be a, a sort of a basic instantiation of the uh, specifications that we're going to pass to the model. So first what we're going to do is we're just gonna set up an asynchronous function. Now within the request, it's similar to something like OpenAI. So you're going to specify the role. So in this case, we're going to specify that it's the user and we're just going to pass in the text of hello world. So the actual schema of how you pass in a request is a little bit different. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be subject to necessarily change, but this is how it's structured right now. So it's a little bit different than what I've worked with with OpenAI and what I'm sure a lot of you have worked with as well, but uh, nevertheless, it will just take a little bit of time to get used to. So here is where we're gonna actually perform the content generation, and then here is going to be where we iterate through all the responses that come back, and we're just going to log them to the screen here. So here, again, it's not the typical OpenAI schema. There's a ton of different things that are within this object that gets returned. There's uh, like safety variables and all sorts of stuff within their implementation of their AI APIs. So it is very different. So you're gonna have item candidates, the first item in the array, content parts, etc. And then from there, I'm just gonna save this out and I'm just gonna show you a really quick example here of what it looks like. I'll also put a link um, to just a GitHub link if you're looking just to pull this down and have a working example. Hopefully, like I said, there is a, a good example on the examples tab there when you're actually within the platform. But that's pretty much it. So this is how you can get started with using their SDK and their Gemini models. I'm excited to see what people build with this. It's really nice to see that there's a ton of different models coming out with just a short uh, sort of time frame here. We have the uh, Mistral's new model coming out. We have this coming out. And all of these models are really high performing. So I look forward to seeing what everyone builds with these things. But if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe and otherwise until the next one.